Virtual meetings have become such a thing in 2020 that the number of people using Zoom has gone up from 10 million to 200 million users per day. So if you're new to using Zoom or if you've been using it a while, I've got five very cool but simple little tricks that I promise will improve your Zoom meeting experience. So stick around. Hi, my name's Stuart Beebe and thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. So this is a short little video on some tips and tricks around the video settings to give you an overall enhanced look and feel for your Zoom meetings moving forward. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more videos like this. So we're gonna jump straight into it. So if you can follow my cursor along, we're gonna click this little guy down here and we click into video settings. Now the first thing I wanna show you is the mirror my video. But for some reason, Zoom actually have it checked as standard. So if I was to hold my lens cap up here you can see it's back to front it's like looking into a mirror so i think it's a good idea to uncheck it which gives you a true reflection of what's going on there's an even better reason for that which i'll show you in a second before we move over there though i just want to show this kind of cheap little uh, trick here which is the touch up my appearance now it may look a little bit um subtle but in fact it is but in fact if you check it it will actually soften your uh, skin and uh, make you a little bit younger after all why not have that checked? I think it's a good idea. So once we've done those two little buttons there, we're gonna jump into the virtual background area. Now this is, I think, is a really kind of fun area, uh, but it also adds the level of professionalism, I think, to your broadcast. Now the first time you jump in here, Zoom will actually ask you when you click this button here to download the virtual background pack. Now it is free, just like the Zoom platform. Once it's downloaded, you click on this plus sign here and you can add an image. Now I've got a little folder here for my green screen backdrops already set. Now I wanna add my logo in. I simply click on my logo and you can see, boom, takes it straight in. I've got no green screen behind me as you can see and I can simply just change the, um, the backdrop as well over to a white version. So, you know, it's not perfect. There are a lot of artifacts. If I was to move around quite a lot here, you know, it's good if you're static. I mean, it probably wouldn't set a, uh, be good for a gym instructor having this option because, you know, like I say, there's, it's, it, it, it's gonna really mess up the algorithm that uh, is in this uh, the video platform here. I, I, I think it's a really great option though. Let's say for example, you're in a meeting and uh, with a lot of people you don't know, perhaps it's with customers, potential clients, uh, to have this logo behind you, I think really is, uh, gives you an overall enhanced look. So definitely check that out. Now you can also as well have some fun with it. You could actually, I mean, we're, look, we're all working from home at the moment, but this is my studio. I could put myself in the studio there and you get the idea. So I can literally put anything behind me. A lot of people are using Zoom these days for, um, you know, hangout for, you know, having uh, beers on a Friday, Friday night, for example. So, you know, let's take ourselves on vacation as well. Let's put myself into one of my favourite spots, which is uh, in California. You can see the options are endless here. There's also the option as well, if you wish to add some video, you can use your own video, or if you haven't already, check this out. You can go to a, a, a URL called pexels.com. And pexels.com, if you're not aware of it, is a free stock and video site. I will drop in the link below, but it's pretty cool because you can literally look for anything that you want. Let's say, for example, you want a late backdrop. So that's lavender. <laughs> so go into uh, videos here and you can see, look, okay, I can install this, simply download it. Make sure you get the right resolution when you're downloading, but it is completely free. It does ask you to perhaps leave a donation or thank the, uh, the artist, but I just think it's a really cool little site. Again, it's a great resource. I've used it uh, many times. So definitely check that out, pexels.com. Okay, so the last thing I really wanna say here is if you really wanna up the level of production with your meetings and your broadcast, actually a good idea to upgrade from your standard camera. Now you can see I've switched over to my standard camera that comes with the PC here, but you can see the, the difference there in quality. You know, it is a bit of a setup. I'm doing a video on how to do that, which will be next. So again, remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see how to set up your DSLR camera to really enhance the production level, take it up a level uh, from, again, you know, I'll just give you the example. This is using my standard um, webcam on the camera here. So I hope you found that useful. I appreciate you watching. Uh, stay safe and healthy and see you soon.